Welcome to this meditation of You've Been Chosen. This is a sleep meditation to be in service of yourself and to be in service of others. Take an inhale here. Let it go. Are you in search of peace? Are you ready to find the silence and the time to recognize that you have been chosen? You've been marked to find calm and it is looking for you at this very moment. Let's relax together and find the calm that shares the secrets of how you've been chosen how to see it in yourself, how to realize your inner power, your inner sanctity, your knowledge, your serenity, to simply be yourself, to give of yourself, and to enjoy that process of giving wholeheartedly your authenticity, your authenticity, your realness, your aliveness, your breath, your glow, your shine. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release. Come to a comfortable seated position, pressing the sits bones down, lengthening the spine, opening up the collarbone like wings of a butterfly, wings of a dove. And now draw the shoulders down the back. Relax the body from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes and back up. Soften the space between the eyes and ears. Imagine your throat being cleared of all energy that stops and blocks your words. Relax your chest to breathe freely. Relax the knees and wiggle the toes as a sign of your aliveness. Soften the ankles and the thighs. Engage the core, press the sits bones, lengthen the spine, take an inhale here. Let it go. I ask that you perform this meditation with a kindness, with a serenity, with a balanced interior space by breathing deeply to your personal degree. We can practice by cleansing breaths and then a bit of ujjayi breathing followed with a box breathing to truly meditate to truly find our way into that relaxation state for the parasympathetic nervous system to take over and say darling rest and digest let's perform a breath cycle of what we call cleansing breath it's an inhale through the nose and a large sigh exhale through the mouth. We can perform three of those together, following along, fluttering your eyes closed with a smile on your face. Let's find relaxation. Take an inhale here. Open the mouth and let a sigh out. That's our cleansing breath. Again, inhale. Cleansing breath. Inhale. Cleansing breath. Finding relaxation for the body. Ten, you are relaxed. Nine, feel the serenity that you deserve. Eight, keep the eyes fluttered closed. Seven, relax the jaw. Six, soften your torso. Five, rise the cheeks. Four, soften the space behind the eyes. Three, drop the shoulders further away from the ears. 
Two, relax the sits bones and one, feel at peace in your body. Let's now perform three ujjayi breaths here, breathing in from the nose with the mouth closed and then exhaling with the mouth closed through the nose. It'll almost sound as if there's a wave of water rushing from the top of the crown of the head through the back of the throat, coming into the chest to be released. Let's perform our three ujjayi breaths now to recognize that we have been chosen. With the mouth closed, take an inhale here. Keeping the mouth closed, exhale through the nose. Press that belly into the spine like an accordion again. Inhale. Keeping the mouth closed, bring the breath all the way through the crown of the head. Close the mouth and release the breath through the nose. Engaging your core all the way out. Inhale. Exhale, release. <clears throat> Turning to our box breathing here. We'll perform three box breaths together. Box breathing simply means that you use your creative mind's eye with each inhale and exhale. And let's add a pause, a retention of the breath, the stumba. The idea that holding on to anything must be a release. Let's all hold our breath as a sign to say the breath must be released. So each and every time we inhale, we hold the breath, we exhale, and then we hold the breath to inhale again. Now you can use your mind's eye with this, drawing a square with each box and each side of the box as either a breath in or out, or a pause. You can draw with your mind's eye the inhale which goes up the left side of the box. The first pause goes towards the right, encircling the top of the box. The exhale brings the line of frame of reference down, and then you would align yourself in your breath with a pause as you draw the bottom of the box coming to the left corner again. <clears throat> Take an inhale here and we begin box breathing. Inhale. Pause and hold the breath. Hold, hold, hold. Retain your breath. Exhale, release. Pause, pause, pause before you inhale again, retaining your breath for just a moment. Here we go, inhale. Pause, retain the breath. You got this. Hold, 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 engage the core, release. Pause and hold the breath. Hold, 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 inhale. Retain. Hold, 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 length in the crown. Exhale, release. And let it all go. Finding the courage to be still is the same as looking for your chosenness, looking for your greatness to find out that, in fact, you can be in service to the world. You can first be in service of yourself. And what does it really mean to be in service? Who are we giving our service to? I think that the most important piece of this meditation is to recognize that you've been placed on this earth. You've been chosen to receive this life, this breath, this day, this meditation, and you are here with a purpose. You have a grounding. You have a reasoning for your aliveness and to be the best that you can be is to be a host of who you are. This meditation has the inspiration that you need to take responsibility for your impact on this life, whether big or small. Know that you belong, my dear. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Sigh it out. Put a smile on your face. 
can you thrive through the unexpected? It's a tall order, but it's an opportunity to live in love, to live with the inhales and the breaths. Press your sits bones, lengthen your spine, open your collarbone like two angel wings. Let's perform a few bodily movements together to turn to our internal energy, to truly find our responsibility for thyself, to truly find the reasons of our aliveness, the reason of our chosenness, the opportunities to see our greatness, to be in service of ourself and others on this earth. For the next six breaths, we'll inhale, circling our arms all the way up above our heads, press the palms together, and then exhale, drop the hands down in front of the heart in what yogis call prayer position. The first three times, we'll press our palms together at the top and drop the hands into Anjali Mudra, and the next three times, we'll create a space in the hands, so please follow along to find your innermost calling, your innermost secrets being revealed in this still space. Let's begin with a big inhale here. Circle the arms up overhead. Press the palms together over top of the crown and then on the exhale, drop the hands into Anjali Mudra or prayer position. Press the thumbs in at the heart, close the eyes, and meditate on your purpose. Take an inhale here, circle. Press the palms together at the top, energetically press the sits bones, lengthen the spine, exhale, hands come down to Anjali Mudra. Again, inhale, circle. Press the hands above, arch the back if it's available, exhale, lower the hands back down to Anjali Mudra, pressing the thumbs at the heart. Bow the chin in this moment to reveal some of the heart's most burning questions and answers, queries and visions of love and compassion, humanity, humility are revealed from the heart space with the front and the back of the heart chakra for teaching us to give and receive love, which is an act of being in service to ourselves and to the world, being one with our greatness and knowing that we are, in fact, chosen. Let's take our next three breaths, circling our hands up above, but instead of pressing our palms together, let's leave a space in the center of the palms for energy. What energy comes to mind when you think about being in service of yourself? When you recognize that your place on this earth has a purpose and your energy precedes you as you enter a room, where your legacy builds behind. This is your chance, my dearly. You are ready to be in service of yourself. Perhaps the secrets of a heart will help you reveal. Take an inhale here, circle the arms up. Bring the hands two inches apart above the head, arch the back if it's available, exhale. Bring that imaginary ball of energy in front of the chest and then move it to the right in front of the heart. What does your energy say about you? What volumes are being spoken about the internal chatter that's going on that says, I'd like to find my purpose? Let's find out. Inhale, circle. Bring your hands directly above your head, leaving a space for energy and then exhale drop that space of energy down in front of the chest moving it over towards the heart space asking yourself again what can my purpose be and how can I go 
on this journey of finding, revealing, realizing, recognizing who it is that I truly am. And when I find that persona, when I find that internal energy that I recognize that is brilliance, that is calm, that is courageous, how can I give that to the world? Inhale, circle. Create that energy ball above the head, drop with an exhale. Bring your energy in front of the chest and then move it over towards the right. See, the heart chakra has a space in the front for giving love and a space in the back for receiving love. The heart chakra is a place of warmth. It's a, an opportunity to understand yourself from the deepest most revealing places of your internal energy thanks to the breath finding out who you really are and being able to pay close attention to that persona gives you the ability to pay it forward it gives you that strong inclination that you've been chosen you have been all along Connecting with yourself through breath gives you this powerful vision to unlock the seeds of intuition and awareness and bring in the wisdom that is attainable to look inward, to feel like you're here, to see the difference that you can make, bringing that internal persona into the external world to showcase your aliveness, to showcase the divinity that a human being can make by simply being kind, by thinking of others, by being in service, and to recognize that they are chosen. You are chosen. As small or large as you wish, you certainly have been chosen for this meditation. The role that you play in your life, no matter how tough things get, as an example that your character has a voice. Your character's role may change over time due to circumstances, but your energy, my darling, your behavior speaks volumes. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release. Let's repeat our energy circles first with the palms pressing together. Inhale. Circle the arms up overhead. Press the palms together at the top. Exhale. Drop the hands down into heart center. Anjali Mudra. Repeat. Inhale. Circle. Press the palms overhead. Exhale. Bring the thumbs to the heart. Last time, inhale. Circle the hands, pressing above the head, and release. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Pause here and bow the chin. Recognize your purpose yet? Do you see your heart? Do you feel? Do you taste? Do you smell? Do you know what it's like to truly be in service, to feel this deep relaxation? Let's find that ball of energy and repeat our hand circles now. Take an inhale here, circle. Reach the hands all the way above the head, creating an invisible energy circle. Extend the spine, exhale. Bring your energy center down in front of the chest. Move it slightly towards the left in front of the heart. Here we go. Inhale. Really extend the arms outwards and upwards, creating that ball of energy. Maybe extending and arching the spine. Exhale. Energy comes down in front of the chest, towards the left in front of the heart. Align. Match. Equate, become one with this invisible energy that shares the secrets of the heart chakra that say you are in search of your purpose, you are chosen last time. Inhale, circle the arms. 
Reach the hands overhead, embrace that arch in the spine. Exhale. Your energy circle comes down in front of the chest, bending the elbows, bringing that energy just in front of the heart. Relax the eyes, unclench the jaw, press the sits bones, lengthen the spine. Being in service will most importantly lengthen your lifespan. You become ageless with generosity and gratitude. Your relationships improve when you know who you are and you expand your loving kindness. You expand your compassion and your respect for yourself. When you realize your vision is not just to see through the eyes, but to use the eyes to see from the soul, to believe beyond your own limitations, to give and receive love, to certainly enjoy the benefits that life brings to your doorstep, and to continuously open the door, aligning your hand, reaching forward to say, I am worthy to turn the knob. I am worthy to walk through this vestibule with courage to see who I am, to know that I am chosen, to know that I can be in service. I am here to serve. Repeat after me, I am here to serve. Repeat, I am here to serve. Again, I am here to serve. Take an inhale. Let it go. Bring your hands to heart center in prayer position. Press the palms gently together and begin to rub their hands. Rub the hands up and down, creating friction. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is creating tapas, which is Sanskrit for energy. It's fire, which transforms from one experience to another open the hands and feel the energy between the hands one inch this is the space between can you focus on the space between can you focus on the heart and ask yourself what gifts you have what can you offer as a service to the world big or small how can you fine-tune your being with stillness and calm how can you align with your chosenness and be your best Press the left palm on the heart and the right palm over the left. Press the sits bones length in the spine. Create energy in the crown of the head. Bow the chin. What does being your best mean to you? What does being your best mean? What does the energy mean? What did that circle of energy between the palms tell you in this meditation? Let the hands soften and drop towards the thighs. Take an inhale here. Let it go. My darling, as you relax yourself into being chosen, seeing your greatness and learning how to be in service to yourself and to the world with self-respect and self-compassion. Please know that true service has no expectations. True service is never an anticipation of a reward. Truth, rawness, realness, purpose. It's all about loving and living with complete honesty and humility. Each and every breath that you bring in, know that calm and serenity deliver you to this place of being, this place of being able, this place of being able to give. My darling, let your cup runneth over and share your gifts with the world. Take an inhale. Let it go. You've been chosen. Press the sits bones, open the collarbone, drop the shoulders. Live, love, give. Serve, be, honor, forgive. 
breathe, they leave and grow. Being chosen is a gift, and for those who are searching for that gift, for those who are on the path and the journey to breathe from their heart space, to speak from the throat chakra with kindness and self-expression, with the ability to share the love inside of yourself with the world, sharing kind words with grace. Knowing that sharing anything that you have to offer is a gift to be able to have the courage to say, this is authentically mine. Do you agree with it? Do you like it? Do you want to become one with my words, my breath, my thoughts, the element that I myself have been chosen to share? Take an inhale here. Let it go. Envision yourself walking towards a white hallway. You feel relief, you feel levity. As you walk forward, you see a door and on this door, there's a sign that says, be in service here, be in service here. And without hesitation, reach out your right hand and bring the left hand to the heart. Prior to touching the knob and turning the knob of this door to be in service, let the left hand feel the heartbeat. My darling, that's your aliveness. Take your aliveness and reach your right hand further, turning the knob of this door to walk through courageously to the unknown. Know that giving and receiving with every breath that you take can time and again bring you the gratitude for the smallest things, for an inhale, for an exhale, for an extension of the spine. And for most importantly, for you to remain on your search for greatness, because my darling, you have in fact been chosen. The light in me sees the light in you. And in this space, we are one. Namaste.